Hello fellow Wargamers and welcome to Green Dragon Games. Please take a second to hit the like and subscribe button and enjoy the content. Hello Warhammer the Old World fans and welcome to this episode and we've got some really exciting news coming out. Yes, the Orc and Goblins are going on pre-order this Saturday. So, can't wait for that. Um, we'll have a quick look at what there is coming out for the Orc and Goblins. Oh, first up. We've got the Orc and Goblins Tribes Battalion Box. You get 73 miniatures in this box. 31 Orc Boys. You can either give them Spears and Shields, Choppers and Shields, or two Choppers for extra choppy goodness. And you also get a Command Set. Also, there is 40 Goblins. Again, can be armed with bows or Spears and Shields. As enough pieces to build multiple command groups and two orc boar chariots which is really cool because i like the old chariots little stabby guys on the back and you get two new transfer sheets one for the orcs and one for the goblins unfortunately in the box there's no warlord however they have released a miniature to cover that one so with additional cost you can get yourself a black orc big boss i suppose you could always convert one of your orc boys into your war boss because you get 31 so you could do a nice big block of 28 or 24 boys and you can convert one of your boys into your orc war boss but if not if you want to go down the, this route you can get the new black orc big boss and he comes on a 30 mil base and he looks mighty splendid in his black armor with his big chopper next up there's another war boss old miniature from years ago it's old metal one, but I think it's been redone in resin. And that's the Orc Warboss on the Wyvern. Now he's on a, a bit of a beastie boy. And it should be interesting to see how he goes. Don't know how much he's going to be. But again, let's see what happens on the pre-orders. And hopefully next time I might have some prices for you. And a new one is a Troll Hag. And this is quite gruesome really. Gross, really. It's a behemoth. So that means he gets... Oh, she gets extra rules. And this beastie behemoth comes in Forge World resin. Now, I'm hoping it's a nice resin and it's not warped out of shape and everything. And it's a nice, straight, clean up and paint job. But you never know till it comes out. But it looks a nice model. And I'm hoping. And then we've got separate Orc and Night Goblin command set. Now, I've got Night Goblins. Uh, they are cool. Get to add your cool little fanatics and things like that in. So again, we got a orc standard and a war boss there, and then you got the knife, night goblins. Looks like one of them's on a um, giant cave squib, and a night goblin big boss with a battle standard and a shaman. And again, these are all resin miniatures. And then they're going to release some of the old plastics as well. So we've got. The old classic plastic orc boss and orc boys mobs. Now we've got the orc leaders. One's mounted on the war boy. And the other is marching on foot with a, a banner. And then we've got the we've got the box of orc boys. Now I believe these are the same figures that will be in the in the Orc and Goblin Tribes box. I don't really need this box. But I do want some more boys. I really want some boys with spears and shields. Just for that extra rank of goodiness. So along with this. And the other bits and pieces that were coming out. They're the main ones. There is also Goblin Plastic. Um, where Wolf Riders and and. The Wolf Rider boss and the Wolf Chariot. So there's all those bits coming out as well. There's also classics will be will be returning, such as the Goblin Bolt Thrower with three crew, the Goblin Doom Driver, and of course the Snotling Pump Wagon. So they're all coming back as well. So it's really looking good for the Orc and Goblins. And of course, last of all, we've got the old Giant and the Bone Grinder Giant, which if you look at this picture. The bone grinder is absolutely ginormous compared to the old normal giant figure. Um, 
so that, that's a look at the miniatures also if you go on to the warhammer community you can see this article on the old world almanac for the 18th of march and it's the orc and goblin tribes arcane journal again this tells us about the units the stats and the background on the orcs and the goblins and where they came from where they live and all that sort of good goodness but also it gives us two armies of infamy so you can play nomadic war which is you know what that is on yeah it's the orc Wah! which is a tried a tested way of playing orcs and goblins on the warpath and also there's a new one the troll horde which is good looking interesting uh, i've not got any trolls so this is going to be uh, strange i don't know how it's going to work but i would imagine that this the troll hag I would imagine she's going to be your leader and then you you can use units of trolls so it's going to be an old troll army so it might actually be good as in it's going to be a low figure count because all these are all going to be big monster and ulking trolls and probably be able to take your giants with them as well so you might have an army and it might only be 20 figures at 2,000 points because they're all trolls and giants. So that, that sounds like it could be really fun to play. Yeah, so that's the Arcane Channel. So it's looking really good this week, guys. Yes, the Orc and Goblins are finally here. We'll be able to go on Saturday, put in your diary, get in there, and you can pre-order your Orc and Goblin tribes. So if it's pre-order now, then I would say that means it's going to be released in two weeks' time, which means, way we'll have Orcs and Goblins. I've nearly got my first thousand points of Dwarfs finished painting, so they're going to, next video is going to be them. I'm going to finish them off, and I'm going to do another video on the Dwarfs. The Dwarfs for the old world. And then once they're finished, I'm going to see who will be willing to fight the Dwarfs. Because I mean, we know, we all know the Dwarfs will win. The Dwarfs are the best army ever for the old world see you all next time